We've already mentioned the fact that Carrera has DPMs, but there are, of course, IDPMs and EDPMs, and there are differences. You're absolutely right, Rick. IDPMs, as we saw already, are DPMs which live inside the keying systems of the, of the mix effects banks, and also live inside the EMEM systems of the mix effects banks. The E, or expansion DPM, is very much like the systems we used to use all the time. Those that we were using for things like um, shot boxes, where we need a, a keyable source anywhere on the mixer. Or if we're working with new studios, where we have a two or three way box effect, uh, which, unless things have changed recently, can never really be guaranteed to be replayed in the same place every time. We want a universally available DVE. So looking at my screen right now, I'm gonna play an effect, which is gonna show you that I'm using, well, a fairly well-loaded system. 16 boxes on the screen simultaneously. 12 of them have come from the internal keyers of the mixed effects banks that I have inside the system. Let me fade away all of those IDPMs. And what's remaining on the screen right now is the output of my EDPM. It's a four-channel device, it's never more, it's never less. And it has its own EMEM system. Over here in Master EMEM, I'm going to press the EDPM button, and now you'll find everything changes color. This is an effect with its own run button that plays only the EDPM part of that last effect. What I did was use two editing systems. The first one, up here on the menu, color green, is my switcher DPM editing system. And you can see that the mix effects banks which have DPMs are visible, when I drop to my EDPM system, everything changes to that golden color. That's truly a different editing system with a different EMEM system. And all that my Effect 94, which plays all 16 together, does is tie together inside Master EMEM both the Mix FX banks and the EDPMs together. There are 16 on screen simultaneously using both I and EDPMs. And I like the way that we've taken the Grass Valley concept of color coding for a quick cue to the operators on where they are in the system. And we've done that now with the EDPM menu making that brown, the uh, standard mix effects menus green, and as we noticed earlier, the engineering menus are red. So it's a very instant cue. And, and not too bright. You're absolutely quite right there, I think, Rick. What we don't want to do is to introduce those glaring colors into the control room. But subtle color cues work every time.